Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So we're going to be talking about Lower Decks 2 Part 1 and we're talking specifically about the events in our event planning series. So basically what we're going to be talking about today is events that you need to plan for, that you need to save things for. So like if you've got something coming up that you could do during the day and then you may not be able to do it when event reset happens, this hopefully is going to stop you, hit some of the pitfalls which prevent people from being able to complete events. Now this event calendar is pretty full. It's really full so I've I've had a good look through this and I've picked out everything that I think that you need to plan for. This doesn't account generic hostile grinding events because I believe that you could just do that after event reset at some point during the 24 hours for the events. Uh, but everything that you need to specifically plan for. And we've put all this on what I'd call a very crude <laughs> Word document that obviously includes all of the different names of the events and obviously what you need to specifically save for. So we're going to dive into this. We're going to take a look and see what we need to do. And as always, this is going to be pinned in the lube live chat of our Discord. The link for the Discord will be in in the description of the video so please join our discord chat in there ask any questions if you've got any but let's dive in and take a look at what the events are so i'm going to start off with tuesday the 5th which is today which is arc launch day uh, the only thing really need to plan for is the fact that there's a new ship slb so upgrading the uh, new mona veen ship there is a slb for this now this slb will be running three times so the fifth and the sixth the 12th and the 13th and then the 19th and the 20th as well so because this is running three times be strategic in this if you decide that you want to get the mona Veen, i think a lot of people that want it will probably pick it up day one or during the first week so it could be worth you saving any upgrade materials that you get for the second or third one of this event hopefully that will allow you to be able to place in those events better rather than going whole hog during the first one and potentially being grouped with everybody else because people might have less stuff to be able to upgrade whereas waiting till the second or third week and not spending a bean on it might allow you to be able to um, do pretty well in that solo leaderboard there is a free booters event on Wednesday the 6th, so I would wait until after event reset tomorrow uh, until you do your free booters so that you can do two in one, save you having to do two runs. Thursday the... The 7th and Friday the 8th, we have Uncommon and Rare Formation Armadas. Um, so they are, do not spend your Formation Armadas prior to this day. And, and similarly, we have a grouped Artifacts event. So by getting your um, Artifacts and also by upgrading your Artifacts and spending the Artifact Tokens. So don't do any of your Formation Armadas until Thursday or Friday. Again, these both events are going to be repeated on the Thursdays and Fridays of each month. So Thursday, Fridays are going to be your days for spending and doing your formation armadas. We have three material spend events. So the first weekend is going to be for Ransom this lovely guy here and ransom is an addition to the explorer strike team so think about this because there is only going to be one sms and slb tied to ransom so if you are an explorer runner or your next big ship's going to be an explorer so that's what you want to be focusing on this could be the auction for you to dive into normal material spend and obviously normally spending the uncommon sorry the rare and epic armada directives of both standard and solos will count for these as well during the second weekend, we are going to move across to the Interceptor Strike team. So weekend two is going to be for Andy Billups. So Andy Billups is an addition to the Interceptor Strike team. So again, if you are planning on getting an Interceptor very soon, and that's going to be your main ship for PvP, or if you already use an Interceptor and that is your key ship already and you're going to have that for a while, you may want to not go hard on the first week and decide that you save everything up for the second week. Now, the third week has been advertised to us as a surprise we do not know what the third material spend sms slb makeup we have no idea what this weekend is going to be saturday the 23rd and sunday the 24th we have no idea what these events are going to be for uh, all we do know is that there will be um an auction that weekend so again if pvp is not not your thing at all and you have no plans to engage in pvp you may decide to skip the first two weekends save everything that you can get over the next month and just blow it in the third weekend whoever that is for hopefully it'll be somebody that is better for you so that's the first week pretty much out the way apart from on sunday the 10th there is also a cardassian armadas event so if you plan to run some cardassian armadas it could be worth you waiting and saving them until sunday uh, for you to participate in that and at least get some additional progress from your Cardassian armadas. 
Monday the 11th, this is where things start to get a little bit busier, if I'm honest. These things start to get really busy. So on Monday the 11th, um, away teams and spend trait XP. That is an event happening on Monday. I'm really pleased to announce that they have finally put the syndicate events on the calendar. So Monday the 11th, Tuesday the 12th, and then again Wednesday the 20th and Thursday the 21st, we have got our syndicate events. So make sure you are timing your pulls so that you can pull your syndicate events um, pull your syndicate pull straight after reset so the three ways to get your syndicate xp is going to be from your main pull up at the top here obviously from your daily completion as well so by completing your dailies uh, obviously right in the um, final box you get syndicate xp and then likewise from your mantis refinery that's the three ways to get syndicate xp at the moment obviously if you're going to be spending multi-physics that is another option and likewise there will be packs and stuff for syndicate xp throughout the month so save them for those particular days it's nice to see them back on the calendar so people can plan accordingly for them but make sure that you time it so that you're pulling them between um event reset and two hours after that will allow you to be able to pull your clocks back and enable you to do at least three refines of everything during this two-day event and might help you get towards that second milestone so another really good thing for us to think about Going back to the Monday then, solo and regular armadas, um, so we've got those to do, so this is spending directives, I assume you're going to get massive points for the rares and the epics compared to the uncommons, so if you plan to do any solos or normal armadas, I would save them for that Monday and that Tuesday. This does repeat again on Wednesday the 20th and Thursday the 21st, so we do have a repeat there of the solo armadas. On the Tuesday, it kicks off again our new ship SLB, which I've already covered. We've got a random queues hostile event. So rather than spending all your bells and not having enough to be able to complete the event, do not complete your queues hostiles until after event reset on Tuesday the 12th. And also starts here is the fleet commander event. So upgrading your building, upgrading your fleet commanders, spending your skill points. That then is a four day event running from Tuesday the 12th all the way through to Friday the 15th. Wednesday the 13th, nothing really new. Thursday the 14th, we have a power gain. Now, power gain it is including um, ship XP. So it's including buildings, defense platforms, research, and ship XP. No officer XP going to be during this power gain event. This power gain event is running for four days. So again, if you've got some ships that you want to get leveled up with some XP, save them for this four-day period. They are retrying the Rialto Racing. So again, Friday the 15th and 16th, we have the qualification rounds similar to what we did last month and then we have got the final on Sunday the 17th exact timings on this keep a note on your in-game news hopefully they will post something in timely manner for this to give us exact timings and things like that Monday the 18th nothing new that I could find that you need to specifically plan for now remember I am only including events that you need to plan for that may need you to actually um, think about them so normal generic hostile events there's the normal um, kill battleship with interceptors, kill interceptors with explorers, etc., etc. Um, eclipse hostiles, normal hostiles. There's all these events scattered around as well. All I'm giving you here is the stuff that you need to specifically plan for. Tuesday the 19th, there is a swarms event, and that also starts Tuesday the 19th, an ultra spend ALB. So there's a five day ultra spend ALB. So again, start thinking now, don't be spending any ultras until at least Tuesday the 19th. And tie in as well. Look at stfc.ovh, stfc.ovh. Have a look into that. And and obviously see when the recruit SLB is, see if it falls within this time and you may be able to get some additional synergy from that as well. Again, on Wednesday the 20th, we have got the solo and regular armadas starting again. We also have Jelly Pursuit uh, for people that do not have a jellyfish. I tend to err on the side of caution with this and tell people to stay away from Jelly Pursuit um, and really focus on the officers which are coming in with the SMSs. Nothing worse than spending millions and millions of points trying to get a jellyfish, getting bumped down to sixth place and then getting nothing for your material spend when you could have spent them over the weekends and you could have at least got some milestones in the SMS getting you some epic officer shards and some progression towards those. So I like to stay away from it but for those really interested it's your game, you do you and the Jelly Pursuit is running Wednesday the 20th of September. While you're here, guys, I hope you are really enjoying this video and I hope it's actually getting some value for you and your teams. As I've said before, please share this video out with your teams so that it's not just you that's prepared. And also, while you're here, please press the subscribe button, press the like button. Those metrics really, really help the channel. 
Moving on to the Thursday, we have we start again our uncommon and rare formation armada events and our artifact restoration events. So spending all the stuff that we've already mentioned, ultra spend still going on. We have an officer XP and faction credit spending event as well. Now this is an SMS. So again, if you have officers that you want to level up, consider making sure that you have sufficient officer XP to complete a decent milestone. I think if you've got a couple of million in the bank, it's very rare that that doesn't cover um, an officer XP SL uh, SMS. So I would hope that a couple of million would be all right, but you've got to the 21st to make sure that you have killed enough hostiles and banked these up. A good source of XP as well, if anybody's 35 plus, is the new Borg hostiles. The big Borg hostiles, they drop one chest every single hostile. So you may find that if you are short on officer XP, then this could be a good way for you to farm that. Syndicate event's still going on, and Jelly Pursuit's still going on, as well as the regular and solo armada spend event. Spend event meaning spending directives. Moving into Friday, it's is just a follow-on from the three events that have started the days before. Saturday the 23rd, we start our surprise material spend event and finish out our ultra spend event. Now, Sunday the 24th, this is the first time. Now, when I say Mona Solos, this is obviously for the new ship, the Monovine. So you are getting free directives. So save any directives that you get for Sunday the 24th. It's the last day of the arc. They're giving people a whole month, giving them opportunity to hopefully find the money to be able to buy. Because if you do not have the Monovine, um, there is no free-to-play path sourcing this arc, um, so it gives everybody all month to buy it before we get an event to actually spend the directives. Now, the other two things to note, sorry, three things to note, is that we do have the missions event. The missions event is running for the entire arc, so from the 5th until the 24th, says that at the bottom down here. There is a build event all arc for the Monovine, so you're not going to miss out by not buying it early, which is nice for people that don't get paid till like the back end of the month, or etc, uh, etc. Et it gives you all month to decide whether you want to invest in the Monovine and still get the rewards from building it during its launch app. We've got ticket events, the standard ones running from Friday to Sunday. I hope everybody really likes this series. As I've said, this um, particular calendar, I'm sorry it looks crude. I'm going to try and spruce it up during future editions, but I wanted to get this out as quickly as I possibly could. This is going to be pinned in the Loop live chat on our Discord. So join our Discord. Link to that is in the description down below. Please, please, please pop over there, say hi to us, and make use of this calendar. Share this video with your teams. Make sure it's not just you that's fully informed. Make sure it's fully shared with your teams. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're doing really well on that, and I thank everybody for what they do. We do have a merch store, so if anyone wants to pick up some lube merch, I saw Rev donning it um, earlier. There he is, donning a lube nut hat. See, even the big guys like our merch. <laughs> no, always really, really nice. So please go check that out. We've got some fantastic stuff on the merch store and always really nice to see other content creators supporting other content creators. It's always nice, nice to see that. And the website for the merch is itslube.com. Nice and easy to remember, itslube.com. Click on the merch button and you can see all the really cool merch that we have got in there already. More editions coming all the time, but this is what we've got at the moment and there's some really cool stuff in there. While you're here on YouTube, if you do want to support the channel on a monthly basis, we do have a join button where you can become a member of the channel. Thank you to the three members that we've got so far, Andy, Candy and VA. Thank you so, so much for your ongoing support. I said I would shout you out as much as I physically could and thank you. I really appreciate it. So we do have a join button down there for people to do, for people to join in. We are streaming live on Twitch on Tuesdays, uh, which is if you're watching this really quick from the time that I've launched it, that will be tonight about 8.30 to 9pm UK time. We will be starting that but we stream every Tuesday at that time and we try and get a bonus stream in as well so thank you everybody for watching I hope you found this useful please leave a comment down below that really really helps the channel it really helps the metrics but I hope you found this useful and as I've said please get in touch with us if you have any questions and remember guys everything is better with lube take care and have a wonderful day